Hey, this is Ralph, and what we're going to do here is we're going to add a calculated control to our form so that we can kind of find out how much a particular transaction was when a uh, data entry person has entered in a new transaction. So let's see, I've got my form open, my transactions form. I'm going to jump over to design view. And we've got our current stuff on there. Let's add something new. And the new thing I'm going to add isn't an existing field. It's going to be a calculation. So I'm going to use my controls up here. And I'm going to enter in a text box. And when I just click on that once, I can just draw right down here. It's going to give me a label and an unbound control. But as soon as we're going to type a formula in here. My label, I know it's really tough to see that gray text. So bear with me here. At text, I'm just going to change this out to um, transaction cost. Okay, so I don't need a colon there. Now for the unbound part here, this is where I'm going to type a little formula in. And my formula is going to start with an equal sign, just like in Excel. And I'm going to take, I'm using square brackets to refer to an existing field. I'm going to take the employee wage. That was one of my fields from the employees table. Um, if I use my field list, I know this is down here at the lower right corner, but if I use my field list, I get a little reminder that one of my fields was employee wage, their hourly rate. So I'm going to take the employee wa wage and I'm going to multiply it by, let's move that cursor, transaction hours, closing brackets. So a little multiplication formula right there inside. So when I go ahead and run this form, oh, it's getting it's it's giving me a problem because of my employee wage field, I bet. So let me jump back over to design view. If you refer to a field that doesn't exist here and it kind of doesn't, then that's going to give you a problem. Let me just do a quick check though and make sure I don't have any typos. Transaction hours, yep, so everything is spelled properly. I just need to get that employee wage in, so check this out. I just take my employee wage field from my field list. I can put this anywhere on here. I'll clean it up in just a second. Now it's part of the form. Go to form view. Now I'm getting a calculation. Check this out. So on this particular transaction, 7 hours, 24, there we go. So pop open our little calculator here just to I'm not a math magician, so we'll just do 24 times 7, 168. Looks pretty good. So now we've got an idea for how to get that transaction cost. Let me just do a quick little bit of cleanup on this. I'm going to jump back over to design view. And I think what I'll do, transaction hours, let's take employee wage. Actually, let's try this. These are stacked together, so you'll notice if I move one, I'll, I'll move the other one. But I can right-click on this selection. By the way, I just select them all with my rectangle. Right-click, go to the Layout option, and I can choose Remove Layout. And that will allow me to move these a little bit more independently. Then I can take Employee Wage, put that one there. I can take Transaction Hours pop that one up and then I can take my cost and just size this one a little bit differently pop that there I know it's a little sloppy but I can select them all now go to my range and stacked now they're a little bit cleaner looking home form view there we go so let's see how this would work if I were to enter in a new record Transaction ID, I just skip right on pass because that's an auto number. I'll do employee um, B for client C. Notice how the employee wage automatically popped in there for client C. The transaction date, let's go ahead and do something like 2913. The transaction hours, let's do 10. Oops, that's not a 10. 10, and as soon as I press my tab key, my transaction cost will show up. So this is a form with a calculated, oh, let me go ahead and press my tab key to lock that in. All right, design view. Let's see, you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in the table clients. Oh, my client ID is wrong. Oops. Employee B, client L. Okay, there we go. That's the benefit of referential integrity enforced. 
there we go so now I can go back to design view but that is a calculated control it's a little tough for you to see I was hoping there'd be a zoom option but let me at least do this for you so you can kind of see this for me a little bit better so this is my transaction cost to calculate employee wage times transaction hours